we conclude our discussion of chapter 12 by examining the last category of trading strategies which are called combinations now in combinations we enter into uh, two or more options of the different of different types so for example one call one put two calls one put two puts one call and so on the most popular strategy uh, in combinations is called a straddle in a straddle we enter into a put option with a strike price k and we also enter into a call option with a strike price k so why would we create a straddle instead of just buying a call option or instead of just buying a put option why we buy both options well basically the this strategy will be profitable only if there is a large volatility in the underlying stock and we do not know whether the price of the stock will go up or it will go down so for example we are expecting that there will be an event that the company will announce and we are not sure whether the market will perceive this event to be a good news or a bad news but what we know for sure is that this event will cause a huge differences in opinions which will derive the volatility of the underlying stock to be high now to take advantage of either movement uh, or to take advantage of the uh, high volatility and when you don't know whether the, the movement will be up or it will be down you create a straddle so the advantage of the straddle is that if your expectation about the volatility was correct you will make a profit so you don't have to form an expectation about the direction of the uh, stock price movement the disadvantage is what well this strategy is costly why because we are not paying the premium for one option only you are paying the premium for the uh, uh, two options so again this strategy is costly because you are paying the premium for both the put option and the call option okay so to summarize the assumptions that motivate us to create a straddle uh, we expect that the volatility of the underlying stock is is high and but we don't have expectations of of the direction of the stock price because if we have an expectation about the direction there are other strategies that are more profitable or we just we just can't take only calls or puts if we expect for example there will be high volatility and the price is going to go up then why should i buy a put i will just buy a call uh, the opposite is correct if i believe there will be high volatility and we expect the price will drop then why should i buy a call i will just buy a put now this strategy is costly compared to just buying a call or just buying a put because we are paying the premium for both the call and put and we have to keep in mind that the ratio of the call and puts is always one to one the next type of combinations are called a strip and a strap now in a strip we have an expectation that the price of the stock is going to uh, go down more than it's going to go up for the reason when we created the strip we took one long call with the strike price k but we took two long put with the strike price k so we still believe that there will be a, a, a large volatility in the underlying stock 
but we believe that the chances uh, of the price going down are higher than the probability of the price going up and to reflect this expectation or this belief we take two long position put option compared to a one in a call option uh, to uh, because if our expectation was correct then our profit will be higher compared to the straddle so let's look at a summary of the assumptions underlying a strip so what motivates us to create a strip combination is that the volatility of the underlying stock is is high and we believe that the probability the price will decrease is higher than the probability the price will increase that's why we take two put options for uh, against uh, one call option and we have to also keep in mind that combinations in general are costly because we pay the premium for both calls and put options for the strap it's the opposite now to create the strap we need to take one long put with the strike price k and two long calls with the strike price c what's our expectation when we create the strap also we believe there will be a volatility however we believe that the probability the price is going to increase is higher than the probability the price will decrease So to summarize what motivates us to create a strap combination, again, we also believe the volatility of the underlying stock is high, but we believe that the probability the price will increase is higher than the probability that it will decrease. Uh, the ratio to create the strap is two calls for every one put options we enter into. The final combination is called the strangle. And in a strangle, uh, we take one call option with the strike price K1. So K1. We take a long position in a call option with the strike price K1. And we take a long position in a put option with the strike price K2. Uh, uh, the opposite here it's k2 and here put where the strike price k1 now what motivate us to create a strangle strategy or a strangle combination it will be profitable only in case there is a huge movement in the underlying stock price Otherwise, if the volatility was low around K1 and K2, then we will for sure going to make a loss. So the only motivation for us to create a strangle is that we believe that there is a huge volatility that will result in a huge movement in the underlying stock price. Can we determine what's the direction of the uh, moving in the stock price if, if we know that the price will go to a certain direction then creating a strangle is not the optimal uh, choice we create a strangle because we are clueless we don't have an idea whether the price will go up or it will go down all what we know or all what we expect is that there will be a huge volatility so it's similar to the strangle, uh, sorry, similar to the straddle in that, uh, in that aspect. Now, I want to comp uh, compare with you the cost of the strangle compared to the cost of a straddle. 
let's say that we are going to create a straddle with the strike price K3. So K3 is lower than K2, and K3 is higher than K1. Now, um, in a strangle, I'm going to take also a long in a call option with the strike price K3. And I'm going to take a long in a put option with the strike price K3. Now, to determine which one is uh, cost us more compared to the other, we need to see each part of the strangle and straddle uh, and, and see which one is more expensive than, than the other. So the long uh, with the strike price K2, uh, is it, uh, so is the premium for the option higher than the premium with the strike price K3? Well, we learned that there is a negative relationship between the strike price and the call option price, which means that since K3 is lower than K2, then the premium is going to be higher. So the premium for the, uh, for the straddle is higher than the premium for the strangle. That's by looking only at the call options. How about for the put options? Uh, K3 is higher than K1. And there is a positive relationship between the put option price and the uh, strike price, which means also for the strangle, the put option is lower than the put option in the straddle, which means the straddle costs us more than the strangle. But this reduction in the cost is not without any uh, disadvantage. The disadvantage of the strangle is that there is a huge movement in the underlying uh, uh, stock price before we can realize or we can make a profit. Okay, so the assumptions are the similar are similar to the straddle. The only difference is that we expect the volatility to be very high, not only high, very high, uh, in order for us to make a profit out of a strangle. I want to conclude uh, this chapter by just showing you a strategy that is called the collar, which is implemented a lot by uh, companies that use options or use derivatives for active risk management. So here we are looking at the financial statements for a company called uh, Apache Corporation. Apache Corporation is a multinational company that ex uh, extracts uh, oil and gas. And it involves uh, or it engages in, in, in um, uh, financial risk management by entering into swaps and options or uh, other types of derivatives to hedge their exposure to the oil and gas prices. So we will see here uh, as part of their commodity derivative instruments, they have entered into uh, a swaps, a fixed price swaps. So they entered into a commodity swaps, and they also entered into what's called the collars. Now, in a collars, they will buy uh, a put option with the strike price, uh, average strike price is 65.01. And they will sell a call option with the strike price 80.84. Now, they will do it in a way to make the premium they will receive from the call option to be enough to pay uh, for the put option. And uh, this way it will cost them nothing. So it is, that's why it's called costless color. So if you want to examine the payoff of the costless color, it looks like something like this. 
what does this tell us now the company produces or extracts oil and gas so it's worried about the prices going down All right so uh, to protect uh, themselves against the drop in the oil and, and gas prices now we are looking at oil in particular uh, they bought a put option with a strike price 65 so if the price of the oil went to 40 they can sell it for 65 but to finance this purchase of the put option they sold a call option they, they wrote a call option now when they write a call option and let's say the price uh, uh, reached 90 well the buyer of the call option will exercise and buy oil for 80 so here they they will extract oil and they will sell it for 80 if the option is uh, uh, if the call option is in the money and if the put option is in the money they will sell the oil for 65 if it's in between they will sell it for the market price so this way the company has sacrificed part of the upside potential for the sake of fixing or put, uh, 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 fixing a floor price for their pr uh, pr uh, production of uh, oil. So that's why uh, in the industry you hear the term floor and ceiling prices. So a floor price is the strike price for a put option. The ceiling price is the, uh, pr uh, is the strike price for the call option. and by this we reached the end of the material we covered in chapter uh, 12 i hope you find it useful thank you for listening assalamu alaikum